One of the biggest areas of concern in my practice is helping my clients deal with their skincare conditions. Let's face it, the condition of your skin plays a huge role in your overall mood and happiness. It directly affects your confidence levels. I work with so many men and women who have spent hundreds of dollars on fancy skincare routines, medications, and more importantly, have spent years in hiding because they're ashamed to show their skin. I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell my clients. Skincare is not just surface level. You have to learn how to heal from the inside out. Today, we're going to learn about some of my favorite products I use with myself and in my practice to actually help my clients how to heal their skin so they can finally glow. I want to give a big warm welcome to all of our new subscribers. We hit a huge milestone and we finally reached 1,000 subscribers. If you guys want to keep receiving weekly content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jordana, your holistic nutritionist, and you're watching the N Health channel to learn health tips, see progress, and finally feel like yourself. Great skin is not simply a matter of DNA. Your daily habits, in fact, play an important role in what you see in the mirror. So the immune system plays an important role in what we see on our skin, and essentially it comes down to pathogens and bacteria that live inside of us. So when the immune system is compromised, and this often ha it happens from having like rounds of antibiotics, um, or it could be you know, stress or lack of sleep um, or poor diet, um, essentially when the immune system is reduced, then bad bacteria has more opportunity to proliferate and grow inside of our body. So if we think of our entire body as like real estate, we need to have a ratio of about 80% good bacteria and 20% bad bacteria. So we need the good bacteria to take up real estate so the bad bacteria can't grow. When we take things like rounds of antibiotics, it wipes out all of the bacteria, so the bad bacteria are far more resistant than the good bacteria, and then they can grow out of control. So essentially, um, that's when we start to see things on our skin, because the immune system can't keep up with the underlying uh, bacterial infections that we have. That's a great question. So psoriasis is an inflammatory condition that relates to the immune system, and it's very similar to eczema. Um, or tinea versicolor, which is again like a fungal infection on the skin. So essentially, someone who develops psoriasis, um, it happens because of something called leaky gut. So inside of our intestinal tract, we have all of these cells, they're called tight junction cells, and they fit together kind of like this. Whenever we're exposed to inflammation through stress or um, through you know, dietary foods that are highly inflammatory like gluten and dairy, inflammation happens behind the wall and the um, tight junction cells begin to move farther and farther apart. So when this happens, um, food particles that are supposed to be broken down can actually get in between the tight junction cells and into our bloodstream. Once a food particle is in the bloodstream, the immune system is like, hey, this isn't supposed to be here. So it creates an antibody and then it creates an immune reaction. So the psoriasis and eczema are actually just immune reactions that the immune system is creating markers for when there's stuff in our bloodstream that shouldn't be there. So it really comes down to digestion and gut health when we see skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema. Yeah, absolutely. So we know that eczema and psoriasis come from the intestinal wall and from come from leaky gut. So you're going to want to try something like an elimination diet where you're eliminating certain groups of foods to see which ones your body is reacting to. This will also give the digestive system a break and allow that intestinal wall to heal back up so you're less likely to react to pretty much everything that comes in your system. The other thing to mention here is tinea versicolor. So tinea versicolor is another skin condition, and this is actually a fungal um, condition or a fungal infection on the skin, and fungus loves sugar and carbohydrates. So if you're somebody that is experiencing tinea versicolor, you really wanna make sure you're on a low carbohydrate diet so you're not feeding the infection even more. So hormones and skin health are very closely connected, and a lot of it has to do with the function of the liver. So the liver has a job of detoxing pretty much anything that comes into our system, but it also has the important job of eliminating old hormones. So when the liver is sluggish or the toxic load is too high, 
the liver can't keep up with detox and those hormones, instead of eliminated, can be reabsorbed. Once they're reabsorbed, it can create an imbalance in the hormones that we have. So for example, like a higher estrogen or an estrogen dominance is going to increase the sebaceous glands um, and oil production there. So it's gonna result in a more oily complexion. Okay, so I have two main suggestions for overcoming skin conditions. The first one is to heal from the inside out, and the second is to reduce your toxic load. So for, when we talk about healing from the inside out, I have two main products that I love to use for myself and in my practice. The first one is collagen. So this is the beauty collagen, so it's very specific to you know skin, hair, and nails. So collagen is actually also used to help repair the intestinal wall, um, to help repair those tight junction cells so that we don't have leaky gut. So it's very important if you're somebody who's experiencing things like eczema, psoriasis, or even acne. Collagen also contains special peptides, um, which are like proteins that exist in the skin, and it helps to promote skin elasticity and um, iron out wrinkles, as well as create like a healthy glow. So it's really good for the integrity of the skin. The second product is the Evening Primrose. So Evening Primrose is really great. Um, so it contains a high amount of GLA, which is gamma linolenic acid. So this is a very special essential fatty acid and the body actually cannot produce essential fatty acids on its own. So I find it's really helpful to supplement them because it's very hard to get through the diet. Um, so GLA specifically helps to reduce inflammation in the endocrine system. So the endocrine system is where we have you know, our hormones and our ovaries. So this one is really good for any type of hormonal imbalances. Um, GLA is also an antioxidant, so it's gonna help with things like cystic acne. So when we have hormonal imbalances, um, we often see acne around the, um, in, the, uh, in the cheeks and around the mouth. And it's, it's usually cystic acne, which means that there's an infection very deep in the layers of the skin. So this antioxidant is actually going to help to clean out any infection that exists deep within the layers of the skin, and it's going to help the skin to have this nice glow. And you'll see when if you open the product, like the actual capsules are this beautiful yellow, and it kind of creates this glowing effect in the skin. We actually did an entire video on detox, so we can link that up like right here. Um, but in order to reduce our toxic load, we have to understand that we're exposed to over 700,000 different toxins, and some people believe it's, it's closer to 2.4 million per day. So those toxins are coming from the air in our environment, the food we eat, but also the stuff that we put on our skin and our beauty products. So it's really important to make sure that we're using clean beauty products because most of the products that we can get over the counter have certain chemicals that can actually penetrate the skin and wreak havoc on our liver and our hormone system. A lot of them are endocrine dis disruptors, which means they literally dysregulate the hormonal system. Uh, so I have some of my favorite products here. Um, the Pasco line uses all herbal natural treatments and um, I'll talk about some of my favorite ones. There are three products I wanna highlight here. The first is the Vitamin C Serum Intensive Care. This serum is perfect for skin that is dull or prone to blemishes. It has a combination of passionflower, marigold, pansy, thyme, gentian, echinacea, sage, and hops. Each one of these herbs have calming and antibacterial effect on the skin, which will help to reduce inflammation and kill any pathogens that are stuck in the epidermis. The second product is Hyaluronic Face Cream. Hyaluronic acid is a chemical found naturally in the skin that holds onto water and keeps the skin hydrated and plump. Hyaluronic acid is the key to plumping fine lines and making skin look glowy. This cream has the same combination of medicinal herbs with the added bonus of hyaluronic acid to help smooth out wrinkles, remove dark spots, and make your skin glow. For your convenience, Pasco also has a hyaluronic acid body cream so that you can experience the benefits of holistic skincare all over your whole body. All of my favorite skincare products are gonna be linked up in the comments below. Today we answered a bunch of questions from our viewers, so if you guys have any other questions related to health, you can always link them up in the comments or you can send us a private message. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week on another episode of NHealth TV.